form together. Not crazy, well, but we're, we're just ultimate beings, aren't we, Lan? Indeed we are. And today, we are trying out Dauntless for the first time, so... Bear with us as we get used to this game and see what it's all about and see if it's for you. Supply, you know? Lan, if you want to do your zero. intro or whatever you want to do. Sure. What's good, YouTube Land the Ultimate Form here, back again once again with the first in, I guess it's a new series for me and you, Dan, our one shot series. So, every so often when a new game comes out, Dan and I will sit down, probably on a Sunday, most Sundays really, and have a look at it, have a crack at it, and see if we like it. And by seeing us like it, you may like it too. Pretty much sums it up, yeah? Yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. I've done one one shot already on my channel, which you are more than welcome to have a look at, was the Resident Evil 2 demo, which you can hear me scream like a girl, basically. <laughs> if you happen to be which on I my channel, if you happen to be on my channel, have a look in my description. There is a link to Dan's channel in my dis in my description box. Excellent. All right. Um, Shall, shall we get a hunt side so we can show you on some action, I guess? Yeah. Cool. So I had a bit of a nose around of this game beforehand and had a look. And pretty much this game is Monster Hunter. It's Monster Hunter but different. So it works and functions pretty much in the same vein. You have different weapon classes. You have armor which determines your... Um, your, your amount of protection, you have your weapon which determines your amount of damage you can do for your attacks. Each weapon has each weapon class has a different series of attacks and different ways they can be utilized. Ooh, I have that okay. sounds about right. But apparently it's finding a server for us at the moment, huh? And it's Preparing hunts and it's even got a timer for it, which makes me think this takes a long time to prepare. Huh? <laughs> if it's finding other people, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it's just like well, I told it not to find other people. I told it to just do it as a to skip matchmaking completely. So in theory, oh, match found. Here we go. Sure it seems to be a bit to of a okay. Bit go of... now. Here we go. I'm assuming it did the same for you. Yeah, it just took a little while. Good, 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 good. Mm, that's... Apparently we're fighting lesser gashes, apparently. Mm, which was the first one that appeared on my screen. Woo! Okay. Party for Ireland. Okay. Challenge is normal based on current loadout. That's interesting. Yeah. So it reminds me of a bit of Destiny's power level scaling where it would tell you if it was impossible or not depending on your loadout. Hmm? Yes, uh, two more people have joined us. This shall be interesting to see what happens. Hmm? Especially if other people are using different weapons as well, we may have a bit of an introduction to see what kind of weapons they are using. What weapon are you using currently, Lan? That is the question. I like swords, so I'm using a sword. Cool. And I'm trying out the pike. Hmm? See, uh, see what that's all about. Uh, so we've got two swords, two pikes. Let us do this thing. And as always, hunters can drop from immense heights and not die. Or have crippled legs. I wish I had that. I wish I had those legs. But okay. if I did that, I'd probably, I'd probably fall over, break my leg, and then probably find a way of dying. <laughs> I'm assuming we need to locate wherever we're hunting. Yes. It's a very pretty looking game, I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. Do, it reminds me of, um, is it Spellbreak? Spellbreaker? That other, that MMO, that other MMO, or um, not MMO, um, what's it called? It's called, um, uh, I hear fighting. I'm nowhere near any fighting. Um, it's a uh, battle royale that has a, like, a very intricate ah. magic system. I saw, I saw reviews for it and I was like, this is the kind of game, this is the kind of battle royale that I wouldn't mind playing. I don't know where you guys are, that's really perplexing.
Are these characters are running somehow. How the hell do I run? Uh, L2. This way, Dan. Oh, I'm just doing emotes by the looks of that. Well, it looks like I'm leading the pack now. Ah, here we go. Let's run along at the speed of sound. <sighs> to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Oh. <laughs> Looks like we have ore mining as per normal in these sorts of games, and I'm stuck in a wall. Oh shoot! Well, my internet's telling me my internet quality is not sufficient for streaming. So oh my dear. Stream, well, this so is... my my stream may momentarily disappear. Where is this thing? Well, I'm. Well, if you come over to me, I'm stuck in a rock. If you come back to the rock you were mining, as you can see. I keep jumping around everywhere. Oh, this is broken. Are you dead? No, no, I'm not. Okay, I managed to get out of the rock. Okay, so when you're mining rocks, don't jump into them. Because you get stuck. Um, I would suggest going back the way we came. Yes, agreed. Because we need to find that monster quickly. And like, I feel like one of the guys is like so far ahead. It must be. One thing I, d I, d I do understand from this game is that you can pl console players can play with PC players. Yes, I noticed that when I was doing it and everything, and that's something very different. Maybe something we'll see with Xbox at some point. Uh, if they ever, if the PS4 ever. So I thought these little orbs up. lead us to the monster. Where is the monster? Where is the monster? Don't tell me the monster didn't spawn. Oh, found it! Yeah, I was about to I say found it! Oh, there's a water geyser! Oh, you can... Oh, that's cool. I found and it! When you go on the water geysers, when you go on the water geysers, you jump up into the air, which is cool. So let's show off... Woo! A bit of combat. So your dodge, unlike in Monster Hunter, doesn't have iframes. Well, it does have iframes, but you're, you're invincible the entire dodge. Which is helpful. Mm. As with Monster Hunter, there is uh, stamina usage, so you've got to maintain that stamina. Mm. I'll take that ugly. Oof. Oh. Also, jumping attacks are quite easy to pull off. Mm. I mean, a dedicated jump button is definitely different mm, to Monsanto. <laughs> Don't worry, when the clutch core comes in, you won't need it. Okay. Ow! My question is, where are the other two hunters? Well, slayers, as they're called in this game. Now, I was informed that when I power up, I have a dodge. Either dodge, either dash, or one. Why did I? Ooh, that hurt. There we go, they finally found us. Dude has a fire sword. About time. Focus on the tail. Tails off. Go get that tail meat. You don't need to cough. Which is not the difference in this. When you break apart, you instantly get um, the material that you need from it. 
Oh, that's good. Oh, that's interesting. So it's a lot more quickened. Oh. Choppy, 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 choppy. Ooh. Over here where I am currently, you have something called an ether ball. You hold X and you get the health back, basically. Ooh. Ow. Why did that hit me? I was nowhere near it. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Okay, the bike is quite cool. Huh? I Oops, that was like misplaced. Got this thing won't go down. Quite hurt quite a bit. <laughs> These have a lot of stamina. Frame rate died slightly. I notice we are missing one hunter. Oh, he has not even. There he is. Jesus, we man, where were you? Where were you? I'm probably lost. Well, this thing's finally on fire. Oh, no, it's on fire anymore. That's like the second time I've actually been hit in this entire fight. Well, it's definitely a damage sponge. I say that as it dies. As it dies. Wasn't too bad. Interesting. Ooh, my ranking. Oh, you have team rank. That's interesting. So you get ranked on your own performance and your team performance, which is interesting. Hmm. Omnistone. What is that? Slave progression looks quite interesting. Hmm. Not very interesting. Now I'm determined for every hunt in this video, I'm going to use a different weapon. Hmm. Let's see if we can get a variety of what all the weapons are like for those that might be interested. Hmm. That's if this loading screen would progress. Go elite for less. What? Okay. okay, so it's trying to get me to buy things. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can forge any new weapons. I think there's a weapon forge around here somewhere, isn't there? Okay, let's have a look. I am going to try these dual blades. Huh? That's what I'm going to try. It's called the Raging Teeth.
word, Cap. This won't wait. Well, give me a shout Where? whenever you're ready, Lan, and we'll try and kill I something else. I think I have to change my loadout. I can start doing stuff now. Yay! That's always a good thing. And while you're doing that, I'll have a bit of an exploring. Let's see if we can make any new armor or anything. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to look different to other people. Which it looks like I can't. Okay. I have to stick with this gear at the moment. Uh, what are Slayer cores? Is this a loot box? This looks like a loot box. Yes. Let's confirm if it is. It is indeed a loot box. But with like mods, so cells are basically mods by the looks of it. Hmm? Let's see if we could do anything with that. Hmm? Um, where would it be? Here, probably. Can we do anything with this? Here we go, cells. Here we go. Okay. Nine live cell and warp cell. Protects against shield and frozen status elephants. Nine live shell. Grants the chance to halve damage uh, and at later ranks the ability to cheat death. Hmm. They always quite fancy uh, cheating death, personally. Always like cheating death. We've got modifications, Reaper Dance, um, ooh, all sorts. So we've got lots of stuff we can do here. Utility cell, elbow, or airborne cell. Increases the benefits of the users. Ether of using ether beds. Uh, okay. Just know so I've mispronounced that. Ether born cell is pronounced. Mm. Okay, that's me butchering my English as per usual. Okay. Okay, we've got a warm cell. Looks like we have power cells as well. Huh? Not to be confused with the Jack and Daxter series. <laughs> Great one. Which I may be let's playing at some point because I love that series and they do a PS4 pack. Huh? That's that's a lot um, of game. That's a lot of game, man. That's a lot of game. Well, I think it's got all four of them because I think so, it's got the racing one as well. I don't yeah, know what it's called. because that one's technically canon. Canon and not canon. Who knows? Doesn't matter to you, you does should... it? No. Yeah, I'm not, ready. Uh, not at that point. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, so we've got a blaze behemoth to fight. Mm -hmm. A fast, ferocious behemoth that is not yet fed enough. On enough blaze ether to unleash fury attacks on those who hunt it. A lesser embrane uh, is still not worry to be underestimated. Uh, quick attacks and agile attacks are recommended. Let's fight this thing. We don't really. Hunt it, uh, areas. I hunted um, it a little while ago and it didn't seem to want to hit me with any fire attacks, so I. I don't think we're going to be in that bad a situation. And so it's not Anjanath. Oh god, don't get upset that Anjanath. Oh boy, oh boy. I remember hunting that thing with you guys. And you guys were getting slapped up. Nick used to ask me from work. Nick used to call me from work and be like, Hey, bro, I need to hunt some more Anjanath. Can you come and help me? I'm like, fam, I just finished work. You used to do that? <laughs> yeah. Who used to do that? Nick! Nick. <laughs> Nick! Nick used to message me and call me from when I'm at work. I'd be like, bro, I just finished work, like... Bro. That's... that's hilarious. No, Anjanef bullied him. Anjanef oh thoroughly God. bullied him. To be fair, I remember the first time I fought Anjanef. And it... yeah, it bullied me. Even though, fun fact, when the first time I fought... I thought Devil Joe, I killed it in one try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was sitting here like, hey. And land 
and Lan still doesn't believe me to this day because I didn't ca catch it on camera. Well, that's your problem. Okay. Alright. Are you still running your sword? Yeah. I like swords. Oh, we shall see what the of. Let's stay with the pack. Let's stay with the pack this time. Yeah. So let's get excited. I say Isn't that. I say that as the pack disappears. It looks like that's our enemy over there. Yes. It's very fast to be careful. Oh, hello. Oh shoot! He just slapped Ooh, okay. me. My dodge is interesting. My dodge is literally a teleport. Ow. So my R1 does a little teleport flash as well. Ow. This thing hits hard. Ow. Okay, can you stop hurting me now? Get better at dodging, man. Oh, no. He's gonna charge. I'm not Yo, he oh. stunned that! What? That was really cool. Yeah, because he stunned it. Face broken. Let's break the rest of it. This is like a fiery version of Udagaron. Basically, it is. I don't know why this man is hitting him with a fire sword. He resists fire damage. He's a fire monster. Oh my lord, how did I not dodge that? Can you go and heal now, Dan? Can you Time die? to get a heal, huh? Yeah, huh? Is there no way to lock on to monsters? If you press L3, then you'll oh, instantly lock on. Yeah. yeah. Die, frame rate, die! <laughs> oh dear, yeah, it is basically dying. Ow. He just slapped you. Come on, take some of that. I love how there's destructible environments. That's definitely. Yeah, that's definitely an interesting thing, isn't it? But I think Monster Hunter did it better. Because it would actually have a proper effect on stuff. There's not many things that are destructible. That's the, the thing. But the things that are actually matter. Yeah. They think not just us, but the monster as well. Your ninja stars to yourself. Yo! That's an Ember Range slain. Ember. My pronunciation is all over the place today. Dan, when is it not all over the place? Mm, it's so, what in this loading screen, man? What, what are your thoughts so far? Um, I. It's, it's not that I'm particularly impressed by this game. Again, I come from a Monster Hunter background. It's very hard to impress me with a similar game like Monster Hunter because Monster Hunter is right there. That is very true. It, do, it, does, it, it does its job in a very unique way. But as a free-to-play game... Hmm? It's definitely intriguing so far. I'm not sure... If it's worth the time and effort at the moment, um, from what I've seen. Uh, oh. But as for 
enjoyability, which isn't even a word, probably. Uh, I don't think that is a word. Uh, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not hating it. I'm definitely not hating it mm, at the moment. I could join uh, you on this one. Uh, don't be a stranger. Oh, it looks like I can forge new weapons. Okay. I can now forge Ember Brain weapons. And let's forge a hammer. Is that what time? At least I don't no, need to no, sharpen, no, no. No, no. No. sharpen this. Oh, for God's sake. Sharpening hammers is like the dumbest thing I've ever seen in a game. And it's been like this forever. <laughs> now, for those that don't know, that is a Monster Hunter thing. For those that don't know. Um... Okay, we need to go after something else. Yes, we indeed do. Oh, I can now craft Ember Brain armor as well. I can wear ah, something a different. Light in my All right. Let's try and look different. All right. Alright, that is actually a cool looking armor set. Okay. What does it want us to do next? But the game rewards you for doing just about everything. The thing is, that's a normal sort of like free to play element of a uh. free to play game, huh? Is to keep rewarding the player in order to keep them playing. But. Normally, with the free to play sort of atmosphere, excluding Warframe, because it actually it doesn't do this, is that those rewards will stop. Uh, they will slow down significantly, uh, eventually, uh, which is normally what happens. But we shall see. Go forth and slay. Objectives increase slayer level 3. Hunt Messrs. Jaffets, Hunt Messrs. Wallace. Okay. Well, let's go forth and slay. And now we have lo lots of quests as well. Okay, we're well, going to come back to all these side quests later because. More interested in the combat of the game. Yes, and the 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 gameplay loop. Hmm. Oh, we have new enemies. We have a frost behemoth, uh, and a shock behemoth. Hmm. Man, I should leave this choice up to you. Oh, it dip do. Well, the shock behemoth actually has a low pursuit level, so let's tackle that first. Yeah, so for it. That way, I can actually change my weapons. Yeah, we'll skip that if I pull a couple more yeah. weapons. Great mm. shell. Now I'm not sure if the armor actually has any abilities on it. Mm. Yes, it you can. Uh, you can put cells on your armor. Yeah, you can put cells on them, can't you? But it hasn't yes. actually got any abilities. No. Like on the actual thing itself, which unless, is a bit disappointing. Unless the armor itself has an elemental rating. Mm. Not keen. Some of them seem to so work on the elemental basis, like in Monsanto. So obviously, if you wear certain armor, you have certain resistances. But take more damage from other things. Mm. I do miss the skills though that you could have on different armor and everything. I miss that mm. on here. Def definitely do with that, I think. Mm. Maybe that's something for the future. Oh, wait, wait, you do have that. Explosive Fury. Okay. Where are you? Perks on the right hand side of the screen. Where am I? Oh, they. No. Uh... Yeah, I don't see you on, my, on the team. Oh, I think it's just loading me in. There you go. That was weird. So, this behemoth is weak to Terra, I guess Earth, Earth, Earth and Plant. Great, I've got a fire weapon. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's 
quite no, nice and looking different. I want to know how to change lanterns because they haven't explained that yet. They haven't explained how you get new lanterns. Hopefully, we'll find that out at some point. I have a feeling this game will take more than one stream to determine whether it's worth it. Hmm? Cool. Okay. That way. Hmm. One of my viewers, Leon, has just commented that he's seeing this is more of an arena hunter rather than open world sort of thing. Hmm? Well, technically, Monster Hunter is an arena hunter because you fight in an arena, which is the map. It's not open world in that kind of fashion. The world does seem kind of small, though, the hunting space you come to that island from what I've seen. Also, I can't seem to find a map. No, can I? Interesting. That's an interesting exclusion. I found uh -huh. it! What, the monster? Or the man? You're the monster. Where are you then? Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is ugly. You think you're a shot monster? You're no Toby Kadachi. Well, it seems a bit more based on a shark. You have an axe. Yes, I do. Apparently, it's a hammer, apparently. It's a hammer that has a gun on it. Okay. Ow. Whoa. This is different. This thing can hit you in so many different ways. It's like a Nega Gun it's like when Nega Gante walked past me and killed me. Tails off. Yeah, but Nega Gante walks past and kills you in the time. No he doesn't, only Art Temper does it. Yeah, I was about to say Art Temper definitely does it. Oh god. The hammer basically has a gun on that. Oh my lord, I'm about to die. I have a feeling being in the water is a bad idea. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, I just I just have a bad feeling about being. Stop doing that. Considering it's a shock monster that uses electricity, it would make sense. Huh? But is it really that much dead? Huh? Well, considering you're about to die. Well. Not too bad. Hurry up because it's gonna KO. Yeah. Uh -uh, I'm not hit by that. Sorry. Whoop. You can keep your lightning beams to yourself, bro. Yeah, he finally set it on fire. Yay. Ooh. It's quite a lot of combos. Lots of different ways to do things. Ooh. Very interesting. I'm just trying not to like. I'm trying to be very deliberate with my movements. I'm about to die. Let's get first aid Never now. mind! Never mind! Oh, it doesn't matter place. now I'm what happens. I will never give up the fight. Sorry, Sonic songs are just in my blood these days. Oh, no, it's 
probably because I mentioned the first one. Yeah, that kind of kind of sent me down the the the, the dark spiral that is Sonic songs. Speaking of Sonic songs, that's a fair point. That's a fair point, Leon, who's one of the people that's commenting at the moment. It says, I guess it means it's uh, he means it's a small map, so it's not going to run away or try and survive, unlike Monster Hunter. Fair they they, so they kind of do because sometimes they'll walk off and then go back to their original area and heal. Hmm. I guess that's just something we've not seen yet. Hmm. Hopefully, we'll have to catch that on camera. Hmm. I've seen it a few times now. Hmm. Okay, you got alchemy as well. Oh my God, there's so much. Hmm. I feel those are systems that I would probably get used to off camera. Hmm. I don't feel like I'm going to get too invested in this game, to be totally honest. I'm feeling similar at the moment. Hmm? We will speak again. Thundering Blade. Uh. Oh, hey, Slayer. The next one is the Frost Behemoth. Yes, yeah, so fire armor would be useful. Fire weapons would be useful, fire armor would be useful. Fire armor won't be useful. Won't fire be useful. Ar fire armor won't be useful. Fire weapons will be useful. Okay, but I need to find a loadout that's that's not a fire weapon. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Well, let's go and well, first of all, I'm going to pop to the loose. I'm going to leave all my lovely viewers in the capable hands of Lan. That's probably <laughs> not a good. It's probably not a good idea. Well, if I lose 10 subscribers, sure. I know why. 10? <laughs> ten? 10 subscribers? Yeah. yeah. So far. <laughs> it's a milestone. <laughs> I'll be right back. Unfortunately for me, I'm still sitting at 39. I literally need one more to get 40. 40 would be a good number. Um, another thing... I have learned about this game so far is that um, the different you get different kinds of cores that give you different kinds of um, cells, and the cells could range from the, the cores could give you things like cells, like um, movement ones, health ones, attack ones. There's various different ones that um, only certain uh, armor pieces can equip. So each armor piece has a different different number of slots and the different types of slots that can that a cell can go into and they can also give you other crafting items which is nice oh I got a silver offense core and they're giving me rare items so I got a sharpening sharpened cell plus two I've got an acidic cell plus two and I've got a cunning cell plus one. Sounds like you've got some stuff then. <laughs> yes. Now I should probably check that I'm still streaming, because sometimes I can't tell. Mm. Well, that's why I have the setup where I've got all the comments and everything still. Because uh, then I can tell. Uh, that's personally why I do that. Mm. I'm special, I don't like seeing that anymore. Fair enough. Mm. Yes, we got the blaze sorry. tonic in your loadout. You got blaze tonic? I didn't get blaze tonic. What? I'm gonna go back to that man and ask him. Yeah, you can craft that. And I need to go to the man and see a man about a gun. A gun? Yes. That's what we see. Blitz tonic. Okay, I'm going to see a man about a gun. Because there are guns in this game. Guns make everything better. Greetings from Astia. And he still has nothing to say. Okay, cool. Somewhat disappointed in that regard, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. There must but be some point in the game. And sometimes it's okay. just what it's meant to be. Okay, so we've used hammers. We've used the dual blade things. Now we're gonna use an axe. You think that's a knife? That's a knife. This is a knife. Uh, I would suggest, as I said before, 
using a fire attribute weapon. Because from what I understand, looking at the UI, fire weapons do bonus damage to an ice monster, but an ice mm. monster does bonus damage to a, a slayer who's wearing fire armor. Well, let's craft the Ember Brain Axe huh? and change my armor so I don't get bollocked. Absolutely bollocked. Let's go back to the Gasher armor for now. So actually we should probably have a look at um, the um, the menu and go through that. Yes. So um, depending on which weapon you have equipped it will show you your weapon combos. Not all the combos seem to be there but it gives you basic stats on your weapon and so on and so forth. I think it gives you a chance to experiment as well by yes. a bit of doing different combinations of things. So it's giving you an example really. Hmm? Yeah. Next to that you have personality, which is the way you customize your character with titles, sigils and banners. This Custom looks very much to be the sort of the monetization sort of thing, because I can see a lot of these being locked behind that sort of area. Mm -hmm. Next we have the loadout itself. Uh -huh. So the weapon you equip and armor you equip. Mm -hmm. And also you can uh, mod uh, the uh, armor and the weapons itself for cells. Mm -hmm. As you can see. Next we have mastery, which I have no idea what any of this means. So maybe the <laughs> have it. Okay, yeah. so the mastery system seems to be... Not exactly what I expected, but you get mastery based on the weapons that you use and you, you check off each progression. So you get things like, if you see on my one, I've got Sword Affinity, which shows off all the rewards for using the various swords that I, ha that I can use. Then you have uh, each mastery for each type of weapon. Which just takes that a little bit further. And you have that for every weapon. And then you have that for every monster as well. So you have you get rewards for hunting all the monsters and completing all of their challenges. So for instance with the Nasher, you get one for hunting the monster, one for wearing the gear while hunting them its gear while hunting the monster, crafting all the gear, upgrading that gear to level six and level ten how much damage you do to that monster and so on and so forth so that's that seems to be how they've designed the progression system you get you don't just have a level you have mastery for every weapon every monster which kind of takes that to the next level so it's, it's a bit like an expanded version including the weapons of the hunter's notes in a way no this this is that's that's that shows you how you are rewarded. Okay. So th to those that's what you're grinding for. In Monster Hunter, you actually grind for the materials, the armor and the weapons. In this game, you you still do that. You grind for the armor and the weapons, but you're grinding for the achievements on the weapons and on the monsters. Okay. Makes if that sense. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that makes. Sense. And then the hunter pass is just like in um, things like, um, what's that battle royale we're game called? To, we're gonna have to use the Fortnite example. Aren't we? Yeah, Fortnite. Yeah, that's the thing. That's that. That's what it is. Fortnite. Almost forgot it was, but um, over the course of, I guess a month or a set number of days, you, you can unlock each of these things up to fi uh, fifty. 
and you get net rewards for it. Now we have two tiers. We have the sort of like the free tier, which is the top rewards, uh, which is just your standard sort of like resources and stuff like that, and a few banners and stuff. And then you've got the premium ones, which are just the ones that are just below, which is stuff like your emotes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And loot boxes by the looks of it as well are also in there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is always a lovely thing to see in a game. Next we have the quest log, and which just logs all the different quests. Pretty self-explanatory there. Yep. And then we have the map, which is basically where you pick your hunt from. Yes. From that, shall we go slay the lesser Boris? The yes. Boris behemoth. Yo! Who's this person Let's... running around me at top speed? Like, chill out, bro! I could definitely do with a few improvements this game, but I could see it has potential. Mm. Yeah. I guess that's something we'll properly look at. Mm. I think the game definitely needs a bit of time, though. Mm. So this monster has a shield. Ice shield. Killing any minions grants bonus to the next time you deal damage to the Boris's shield. Stack multiple times. So it looks like we have a way of doing the job. Let's open up some loot boxes. Oh, we have a match found. Let's just go. The monster behaviour definitely seems a bit basic at the moment. Like, yeah. Like, I'm not seeing that much personality or difference between the monsters. Mm. Mm. Like, even between Levasioff and Giraffados, you saw there is a bit of personality difference there. Mm. Even though they are basically the same monster, but... Yeah. Mm. Interesting so far. Cool. Devil job in this game. He'd, he'd screw them all up. Stop that. This guy running in here with firearm is gonna get absolutely bodied. I guess we're gonna see an example of someone not playing the game that well. Looks like we're in the snow area. There's someone in massive ice armor that looks amazing. Damn it, there's no ice physics, I was kind of hoping there was. East boss man. Iron thistle. Okay, looks like we're on the track of the monster. I love these geezers. Whee! The sound design is really nice, but... The area seem a little lifeless. Yeah, it's a bit sort of like massive map but barren. Yes, I think. There we go. There it is. Take that, mother trucker. We're using the axe this time around. Axe definitely hits hard. Whoa, so my special attack is to throw my axe and then just catch it in midair. That is definitely interesting. Take some that. It's on fire. Yeah, he's immune because his armor is up. Ooh, he's immune. There should be some minions. Whoa, the ice is cracking as well.
Got some more minions, man. The dodge. I'm gonna hold off the monster. It isn't a minion on the face. But it was. Okay, now it was. I think I accept it. Oh, I got five times. But more. It seems a bit more. A bit different bit because. That'd be quite cool if you hit the you hit the eyes so hard you just need to throw it out. Yeah, that's another mob down. Just be careful, watch your health down. This one seems a bit. This this monster definitely seems like a bit more of a challenge, not because it hits hard, but because it has a unique gimmick. Oh, that hit me! Okay, the axe also has a charge up attack. Horns are broken. So if you hold down triangle while moving, uh, with the axe and the smash attack basically. Kind of Ow. a great sword. That's he, wasn't, he wasn't as tough as the others, but his unique gimmick made that fight different. Yes. I like it. I like it. It's been the, he, been the most interesting one out of them. I think this game definitely deserves a chance. I don't think this is something I could deal with long term. And that's Agreed, me. because I want all the rewards that the game has to offer, and some of that is locked behind the hunt pass. Yeah. So I don't like that too much. Huh? And on that note, I think I might end it there actually, because I think we've shown off quite a lot of the game. Yes. So, Lan, any final thoughts before we um, sign off? Well, I think we might have to do one more of these, just to see what else is in the game. Not not a very long one, but just to, just to have a look, see what else we can do in this game. Um, we still haven't unlocked guns, and I want to see how that's supposed to work, because, really and truly, I would like all so the weapons maybe... to be offered at the start. Some of them, the guns seem to be locked up until, I think now, I guess, because I think I've just unlocked them. Maybe it's something to do with Hunter Mastery and everything, and being worthy of being able to remove the gun. Mm. Maybe that's it. Mm. Perhaps. But yeah, I quite, I quite, I like the game in concept because I'm familiar with the concept. The game itself, it's too. It's not. It's not. This. It's not. It's not what I would sink hours and hours into. There seems to be a lack of direction. What I do you mean? The game. It seems very. It seems very messy at the moment. Mm. If that makes any sense, like it's actually hard to go and find stuff, like. For instance, the smithy and everything. Like, it took me a while to find that. Mm. I feel that's something that could be pointed out a lot better. But that just, just might be me and my lack of direction. Mm. Sense of direction. Could be that, Dan. You do get lost a lot. Yeah, that's true. Uh, actually, I have a story to tell you all. So I've moved house quite a lot in my life, and on more than one occasion, I drove to my old house. Ah! Thinking that I lived there, and even trying to fit the key in the door. <laughs> so, that's there's a fun hilarious. Fact that's hilarious. Shall I make this yep, I've done that on more than one, one occasion. Actually, when I first moved out of my parents, I, 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 drove, I drove to their house, had dinner and everything, and then, and then said I'm going up for bed, and they had to remind me that I didn't live there anymore.
that is a story for you guys now of Damn. me and my stupidity sometimes. But oh well. Mm. Let me Anyhow, I'll we'll definitely be giving this game another stream. I think when we've Let's unlocked the guns, we'll show that off. Yeah, I think I've just unlocked web, um, guns. I think. Okay, well. Well, that'll have to wait for another time. Yes, agreed. Oh, so I guess now it's outro time. Would you like to go first? Sure. Please, guys, make sure you like, subscribe to our channels, share with your family and your friends, ring that bell to get notified of more content coming from both of us. I've been your boy, Lanny Ultimate Reform, and... I've been Daniel the Ultimate Blade. And we will catch you guys later. Later.